Today, I am going to explain the horror and mystery movie Ouija, Origin of Evil, released in the year 2016. A girl tries to contact her late father, but unknowingly she befriends an evil spirit and things start to take a terrible and terrifying turn. But before we begin to tell you this amazing story, please make sure to subscribe our channel so that you are updated with all the new exciting movie recaps we release in the coming weeks, and beware of the spoilers. The film begins in Los Angeles in 1967, where Alessandra lives with her two daughters, Lena and Doris. Alice's husband Roger has died, so Alice sets out to help people communicate with their late loved ones. An old man, Mr. Browning, comes to Alice with his young wife, Jenny, so that Mr. Browning can talk to his deceased first wife. Alice calls out to Mr. Browning's first wife, and suddenly lights the candles themselves, signaling the presence of the spirit. Alice now begins to answer the questions asked by Mr. Browning through the spirit. Meanwhile, Jenny is very scared. Then suddenly someone walked towards them from behind the curtain, and Mr. Browning and Jenny got horrified. Mr. Browning wants to pay Alice, but she refuses to take it. We then learn that the shadow behind the curtain is actually Alice's older daughter Lena, while her younger daughter Doris is also present and has been secretly lighting and blowing candles, meaning Alice only pretends to connect with the sprite so she can run her house. Alice scolds Lena for scaring the old man so she doesn't have to take money from them, but Lena says that Jenny is a bad woman, and that's why she did it. At night, Lena sneaks out of the house and goes to a party at her friend Ellie's house. Ellie has a Ouija board at home and plays the game with her friends Lena, Betty, and Mikey. Lena doesn't believe in spirits, so she tells her friends that this game is nonsense. This game has three rules. Number one, don't play alone. Number two, don't play in the graveyard. And number three, be sure to say goodbye after the game. They try to contact a spirit, causing Betty to panic. Then Ellie's mother bursts open the door and enters the room, causing Betty to scream in fear. Alice comes to pick up Lena, and she is very angry with her. Lena tells her mother that they were just playing a Ouija board game. The next day, when the girls go to school, Alice goes to a shop to buy candles, where she sees a Ouija board and buys it. When her daughters see a Ouija board in the house, they question their mother about it, and Alice says it will be good for their business. At night, when Alice is checking the Ouija board, she breaks all three rules of playing the game. She pretends to contact a spirit and asks questions, but an unknown spirit named Marcus connects and channels Doris. The questions Alice is asking are being answered by Doris, who is sitting in the room unaware of all this. Lena is confused by Doris's words and questions her about them, but Doris doesn't remember anything. At night, Doris tries to use a Ouija board to contact her father, but the spirit tells her that he is not her father. Doris befriends this spirit. A few days later, Father Tom, the principal of the school, meets Alice and shows her Doris' homework. He asks who is helping Doris with the homework because the writing style is in cursive, which is not Doris. Alice says that nobody helped Doris at home. When Alice asks, Doris says that her friend helped her, but nobody knows who that friend is. When they return home, they find a foreclosure notice on the door, which upsets Alice because she has no money. Doris tries to contact her father for help, after which she approaches her mother with a pouch full of money. Alice is surprised to see so much money. Doris explains that she found the money in a place in the basement that her father told her about. She also takes her mother and sister to show them the place, which is a hole in the wall behind the furnace. Doris then shows them how she talked to her father. Alice and Lena are surprised to see the Ouija board planchette begin to move on its own. When Alice asks Roger's spirit if he is here, the planchette moves to yes. Alice asks to be sure where Roger was when she told him about her first pregnancy. So, Roger replies that he was taking a shower. Alice is shocked that this is what happened. Lina can't believe it and asks Alice and Doris to keep her father out of all this drama. Doris now starts helping Alice with her business. Their clients are also more numerous than before. Doris's behavior has begun to change. She refuses to go to school so she can talk to her friends. Doris starts having pain in the back of her neck. When the pain increases, she comes to Lena, who gives her painkillers and asks her to relax, but the pain is not getting better. 
She goes to the Ouija board and asks the spirit to help her, but a tall black sprite appears in front of Doris, quite scary with a sewn-up mouth. Doris screams and tries to run away, but the spirit grabs her and opens her mouth to enter her and completely possess her. Alice goes out to dinner with Father Tom, and Lena takes advantage of this to invite Mikey home. Doris is watching TV when Mikey comes home. Lina strictly forbids Doris not to tell Alice about this. Lina and Mikey are together in the room, while Alice, on the other hand, tells Tom to try to talk to his late wife. Tom says he would definitely like to. Lina and Mikey kiss, after which Lena tells Mikey to leave. As Mikey starts to leave, Doris suddenly appears and describes the details of a painful and gruesome death agony to him. Her words cause Mikey to become perplexed, and he leaves without saying anything. The next day, Lena finds some papers scattered in Doris' room with something written in Polish on them. She takes these papers to Father Tom and asks him to translate them. Father Tom says he doesn't speak Polish, but he knows someone who does and will translate it. He asks Lena if Doris really wrote it, and Lena says she saw Doris write it. Two boys at school who always bully Doris are sitting on the bench while Doris is standing some distance away from them, and a boy wants to shoot Doris with a sling but suddenly something strange happens. The boy points the sling at himself instead of Doris and ends up hitting himself, causing everyone to run to his aid. Tom goes to Alice's house and says he wants to contact his late wife, Gloria. Doris summons the spirit of Father Tom's wife, Gloria. Tom asks to confirm what Gloria's middle name is, to which Planchette moves and spells the word Lynn. Planchette then moves again, and the spirit tells Tom about their fight and apologizes for the fight. The spirit then says that she wants Tom to be happy, and the last words are said by Doris, who has the voice of a woman. Tom thanks Doris and also tells Alice that he wants to talk to her about Lena alone. Lena comes into Doris' room with Tom and Alice, while Doris stays downstairs and watches TV. Tom tells Alice that he wants to talk to them about Doris and says that Doris has been possessed by a spirit and is channeling people. His wife's middle name is Catherine, not Lynn, because Tom kept repeating the name Lynn in his head, so Doris answered that. Meanwhile, Mikey comes to see Lena, and Doris tells him that they will be back in a little while, having gone on some errands. She tells Mikey that Lena has asked him to wait for her, and that Doris wants to show him the treasures hidden in the wall. Mikey follows Doris into the basement. She shows Mikey a hole in the wall, and tells him that there is more treasure hidden in it, and to help her dig out the treasure. Mikey reaches into the hole, but when he pulls out what turns out to be a skull with its mouth sewn shut, Doris approaches him in the blink of an eye, while Tom, on the other hand, tells Alice and Lena about the translation, which is the journal of a man named Marcus. The man came from Poland during World War II and was eventually admitted to an asylum. A doctor known as the Devil Doctor brought him to his home. That doctor used to do various experiments on people in a secret room in his basement. He used to give them a lot of pain and sew their mouths shut so that no one could hear their heartbreaking screams. Father Tom says that it is surprising that in this journal, Marcus also writes about his afterlife, saying that he is in a dark and cold place. Alice gets very upset after hearing this. Alice and Lena come downstairs to find Doris when Mikey's body suddenly swings in front of them. Lena is shocked to see this, but Alice tells Lena that they have to find Doris. The three of them go to the basement, where, upon checking the hole, they find the bodies of all the people who were experimented on are buried there. That is, they unknowingly used the Ouija board in the cemetery and broke the rule. They burn the Ouija board in the furnace and hear Doris calling for help. Father Tom sneaks through the vent into the secret room, where Doris attacks him and breaks his neck. When Tom comes out of the vent, Alice and Lena are worried because Doris is not with him and he is also possessed by the spirit. He attacks both of them, but they both manage to escape. When they both come upstairs, the Ouija board is lying on the table, even though they burned it in the furnace. Alice is thrown violently towards the kitchen counter by an unseen force. Mikey's hanging body pulls Lena towards the staircase. Doris walks up to Lena and starts whispering in her ear when Alice arrives, 
and she stops Marcus from doing so and tells him to leave her two daughters and take Alice in return. But the spirit tells Alice that he will possess them all. Saying this, the spirit drags Alice down to the basement. Lena is picked up by Roger's spirit and placed on the bed in her room. When Lena regains consciousness, she sees the same doll with her mouth sewn shut and remembers that Doris said Roger did it to block out the voices. Lena realizes how she can get away from the spirit. On the other hand, Alice is tied to an experimental slab in the basement. Before Doris can do anything to Alice, Lena attacks Doris and tries to sew her lips together with a needle. Marcus's spirit tries to stop Lena, but she manages to sew up Doris' mouth. With that, Doris regains consciousness and sees Roger in front of her, but she is actually dead, and Lena and Alice are sitting next to her, crying. Lena is then temporarily possessed by the spirit, and she stabs Alice. As she gets normal, she cries and apologizes to her mother, but Alice tells her that she knows she didn't do it, and Alice sees Roger and Doris standing behind Lena. Two months after the accident, we see Lena in an asylum, and Dr. Fuller questions her about the accident. Later, when Lena is alone in her room, she removes the carpet from the corners of her room and makes a Ouija board on the ground with her blood. She then summons a spirit using a glass lens. As the doctor passes by Lena's room, he sees another girl sitting next to Lena. When he checks again, Lena stands watching him. Then we see Doris walking up the roof to the doctor. After the movie credits roll, we see the old woman in the mental asylum. The asylum staff addresses her as Miss Sander, the last name of Alice and her daughters, and tells her that someone who claims to be her niece has come to see her. The old lady gets happy after hearing this, and the movie ends with that. Overall, Ouija. Origin of Evil is a great movie to watch with an amazing storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this, don't forget to subscribe as that's the only way we can keep making these fantastic recaps and like this video. Let us know in the comments section about your next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching and stay safe and healthy.